times when I'm doing stuff, I think about dumb things I've done, which is a lot, right? Which is the whole book. But I remember uh, two of my key people at one of my companies, they were going to take a day off. They said, yeah, we're going to be off on Friday. I wrote them back an email. And I brought them to the office. I was like, what is the problem? You guys are supposed to be my most committed people in the organization. And you think that Fridays and long weekends are how success is made. And I'd go on this rant and send them an email or whatever. And they both listen to me and listen to me. And then they go, Don, you do realize it's Good Friday, right? And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's too committed. <laughs> right? Because I was irrationally focused on winning, right? That it was just ridiculous. So I shared that one. And then uh, the other one with uh, Power that I just read, and this is pretty cool. And this is a microcosm of, I think, the way that I've been able to be successful. Few people have the wisdom to prefer criticism that would do them good to the praise that deceives them. That's what you think. No, that's, uh, that's in his book. Oh. <laughs> that's uh, Francis de la oh. <laughs> Rotacault. You're so funny, though. Right? But that, like, if you, really, if you really think about that phrase, right, I've, I've, I'm really interested in how to get better. So I crave the critique. And I'm actually hard to compliment. Because I'm wanting to know how to do it great. Like I read something, and I, I don't know who to credit to, but it was a great way of thinking about it. And the executive was talking about interviewing people. Do you want to do a job that you do a job well? Or do you want to do something the best that's ever been done? And that, like, like that is a powerful like, difference, right? Most people... Like if you have somebody that wants to do something the best that's ever been done, you have to have that person on your team. That, that's a self-correcting organism. Right? That's somebody that you can push on, lean on, be hard on, because they want to be the best that's ever done something. They want to be elite. And most people just want to get through the day till Friday. Right? Think about all the people that you say, hey, how you doing? Oh, it's hump day. Oh man, what do you do, man? One more day till the weekend. Well, okay, that's fine. But man, if you're doing something that's a cause or a passion for you, the, the days don't like it doesn't matter like that. I don't I don't actually think about things like that, right? Like it's uh, it's just a difference in people that are obsessively committed to what their calling is, and that doesn't always mean business. That could be. If you're a teacher, that could be if you're a pastor, that could be if you're working on a nonprofit. It doesn't, like, it doesn't have to be for financial gain. It just means that you're doing something. That could be a musician, right? That just means like it's not work for somebody to write music if their passion is great music, right? They're, they're doing something because they want to give a treat to the world. They want to, they want to, their give back is so powerful.